What's up YouTube? I'm on here today and making a video for you guys about the batteries I purchased for my camper van and go over why I decided to go with the Renergy batteries, um, particularly the Bluetooth lithium iron phosphate Renergy battery and why I went with the size that I went with and give you guys some of the features and specs on this battery that I bought. So hopefully you guys follow along. But yeah, I'm going to go in, in depth on capacity, you know, amp rating, all that through this entire video. So just uh, stay tuned. So these batteries are actually purchased. They were actually on sale for $9.99. But I think all together for all three of them, I ended up paying, I think it was like $3,200 $3, for all three of them, which I thought was a decent deal. And they actually had a promotion for 5% off as well. So I used that. Um... And the shipping was actually pretty quick. I actually got these in about three to four days versus everywhere else I was looking for two months to get most of those other batteries that are on the market. So I thought that was pretty neat that they got here pretty quick. All right, let's go over some of the features that this battery actually has. The rated capacity is 200 amp hours for each battery. So for me, for my system, that would put me right at 600 amp hours. Um, another reason that I went with these batteries is the dimensions. They're not huge. I mean, they're big, but they're not huge compared to some of the other batteries that I've looked at. They're only about 20 inches long and about 9 inches wide. Nine, nine and a half inches wide. But they, where I need them and where I want to put them, they're going to fit perfectly. And another thing, I'm going with a... 12 volt system mainly so I can use a DC to DC charger so I can charge it with the alternator on my vehicle that I'm using which in the future I'll be updating that as well to a bigger alternator in order to handle some of the load from these batteries. Another thing that these batteries offer is the weight. The weight of these batteries versus AGM is ridiculous. It's 60 pounds for each battery which a total of mine would be about 100 and 80 pounds so i mean i removed that much when i gutted this fan and and got everything where i want it now like uh the this two captain's chairs had to be weighed about 80 pounds a piece so rated charge cycles for these batteries are 2000 i don't plan on cycling them that low mainly because one the solar i would hope would combat some of the actual use power usage along with the alternator so the alternator will definitely help with with one charging and if i really need to i can run the alternator and try to combat some of that battery usage continuous charging current is 100 amps so i have three batteries so technically i can charge at 300 amps i'm never going to reach that mainly because my solar system will not will not reach that high and combined with the charge from the alternator it's not going to get that high so i'm good there but the the maximum for one battery is 100. the maximum discharge current on these batteries is 200 amps which <laughs> my system alone i maximum i look at putting it through it is probably 250. um at worst when it's charging using an inverter maybe 300 350 amps if that if I get any higher than that, I'll probably need to do some upgrading, but I seriously doubt I'll be going that high. Most people are asking probably, it's probably why did I go with such a big power bank or battery bank inside such a small van? Um, because one, I want to run AC. And AC is definitely gonna draw a lot of power. And only time I'm gonna be running the AC is at night. So hopefully the solar combat the power usage of the AC. So I wanted something that was big enough to run it for at least six to eight hours. If I can get that, that's fine. Because I'm I'm a fat kid and I don't like to sweat when I sleep. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I do do want so much power in this power bank. So I could definitely run that AC um, overnight. Um, another reason is I'd like to run a computer in this van not a huge computer but a decent sized computer um with a tv so if i wanted to do let's say editing or something down the road if i'm camping i can do that because 
decent sized computer. I could also do that with a laptop, but I want it to be built into the van. Hopefully that'd be another part of the build I can show. So I actually made this and it was kind of fun. So I, I, I looked up some of the specs on devices that you run in your van and try to compare it to how, what I could run with the size battery bank that I have. So an AC unit, about 16 hours um, for a small one. I think 5,000 BTUs is the highest that I think I would put in there is for 150 square feet. Um, an induction cooktop was about four hours, but I got to watch in a couple of other videos I saw on YouTube and a lot of those guys are running them for longer than that. So I think I would be okay if I went with an induction cooktop. Um, an RV fan, uh, 40 watts on high. It's the average I saw online. Um, about 180 hours 180 hours for a fan that's pretty I thought was pretty good um, and this is the funny one I didn't I just threw this in here because I thought it was hilarious so 12 volt uh, 0.8 of a watt um, LED 12 volt LED was 6,000 hours so that's just for one but 6,000 hours that's one hell of a flashlight all right Let's talk about some features on these batteries. So it's got carrying handles, which I probably won't ever use. Um, it's a feature, it's cool if you were moving it around a lot, but most people are gonna install these things and that's it. So honestly, I would think you would want to spend money in other locations on this battery, in my opinion. Um, but um, it does have Bluetooth. The Bluetooth works good. Um, I have seen a couple reviews where it's been a little glitchy, but it just updated on my phone anyways um, the, yesterday so I'm hoping they fixed a lot of the bugs on it and these batteries are fairly new so I mean I doubt we'll have any other issues if they fixed all of them through like their update the hardware is actually pretty pretty uh, solid um, um, M8 bolts that go in about a half inch which I think is pretty good for bolt torque I know in the cheaper batteries it, they don't have a lot of threads going into them batteries uh, and people are real worried about stripping them out these actually go in there pretty deep um and the hardware they supply is actually pretty good the connectors they use um i say connectors the lugs that are made to the battery are actually pretty uh resilient so um they make it clear that they weren't they weren't playing when they were making these batteries um but they definitely look like they made it so that it would handle their proper amperage um, I've seen where a couple of the other cheaper, cheaper batteries on the market were kind of um, cheaply made. I, I mean, get what you pay for. All right, guys, this is going to wrap up my video on my Renergy batteries that I purchased. I hope this was informative for you guys. Hopefully make a decision for y'all's builds or um, home solar or whatever you're going with. Um, I enjoy doing and talking about these videos, and I'm going to make more um, about the solar components that have been are purchased in the past and which i'm reintegrating into this fan and give you a review and honest my honest opinion about some of these products um so like and subscribe hope you guys have a good day